the Sedgefield Hunter Chase is the next race then. And this is a two mile six furlong, 0 to 100 handicap. All the hunters in the top one is Romana for Martin Leedham. Christopher's Burner, Ryan Costello, Viper Strike for Paul Rose, Murder on My Mind for Ryan Costello, and Vimiero Domini for Thomas Rogers. So only five in this then. And called in, and away they go. Two greys in the five. And one of them, Viper Strike, is going into the lead as they get to the first, and they're all safely over that one. And if they all get round, they'll all get a little bit of cash in their pocket for the winter break. Next two weeks off. A chance to upload some new horses if you've got some. Get rid of some ones that are not doing all that well. As they get to the second, uh, Romano landed in the lead from Viper Strike second, then Murder on My Mind and Vimiero Domini, and the second of the greys, Christopher's Burner, is the back marker. Romano, it's a winner of the last week or the week before. That's going nicely in the lead by about two lengths. Coming into this next one, oh, she stood off it and gone and got rid of the jockey, so my horse took off a mile too soon. And the jockey's gone, and there's just four left as they pass the winning post in with two more circuits to go. And Viper Strike is the leader. Then Vimiero, Domini, Christopher's Burner, and Murder on My Mind. So one thing that we know for certain is that the winning horse is going to have some form of green silks, because the only one that didn't have any green has departed the race. So... Two for Ryan Costello then, one for Thomas Rogers and one for the Professor, Paul Rhodes. In a sense of me, I was commentating on SO6 three or four years ago that Paul Rhodes would be running a Hunter Chase at Sedgefield and we wouldn't necessarily be thinking he was a red-hot favourite. I would never have believed you. But anyway, things change and they move on. He's still doing well on the flat though, of course, and took the Ascot Gold Cup earlier in the week. Not doing so bad on the jumps now while he's picking a few winners up, so he's getting it back together again. And Viper Strike is the leader from Murder on My Mind second, Vimiero Domini third, and Christopher's Burner fourth. The loose horse Romana racing away happily in the lead without a jockey, jumping much better now. She hasn't got one, but she did when she got one on her back. I suppose the only good thing about that is that she might well drop down a few pounds for falling and be able to get in a hunter chase again in a couple of weeks. And over the ninth we go, and murder on my mind, maybe just in the lead. The grey on the near on the inside viper strike, though having the rail and having the inside on the turn, he's going to continually get back into the lead every time they take a bend. Murder on my mind is second, Vimiero Domini. He's running a nice quiet race as they get over that next one. Christopher's burning a little bit slow. Spent a lot of time in the air. There's still quite a long way to go. And they've still got a good eight or nine fences to take yet. And Murder on My Mind is now about a length clear of Viper Strike and Vimiero Domini. And Christopher's burner at the back as they come to this next one. Which they all get over nicely and they pass the big screen. They pass the winning post and the weighing room. And out they go then for one more circuit of the track. And Murder on My Mind continues to lead from Vimiero Domini and Viper Strike. Christopher's Burner just dropping off a little bit, three lengths back now as they get over number 12. And Christopher's Burner runs straight through the top of that one. So I think Christopher's Burner might be running round for fourth place prize money. I may be hoping that. One, two, or even three of the leaders get rid of the jockey. Which could easily happen, of course. And they get out of the next one, especially if they jump like that, because Murder on My Mind runs straight through that one. And it's now virtually three in a line. With Christopher's burner about ten lengths behind him. And he's gone there. Vimiero Domini's gone. The latest one to go again did the same as Romana earlier on and took off far too soon. Gave the jockey no chance. So we're down to three now. And over that next one we go, Murder on My Mind in the lead, Viper Strike second, Christopher's Burner 12 lengths back in third. Over the 16th they go, and that time Viper Strike very nearly did the same as the other two had done, and got rid of the jockey, but he managed to stay on board. Murder on My Mind in the lead though, 
Fireman on length. Viper Strike second and Ryan Costello's Christopher's Burners back in third. And over that one they go and Ryan Costello's got two of the three left in it. But now Paul Rhodes' horse takes it up again. It's Viper Strike in the lead. This race is going to Ireland. Whatever happens, it's Viper Strike in the lead by a length. Two Murder on My Mind in second. Christopher's Burners getting closer but still got eight to ten lengths to make up as they race down towards the second last. And oh, he's gone. Viper Strike's gone. So Ryan Costello's got the only two horses left in the race. As they come down a was the final fence then and it's well it's going to be a win for Ryan Costello unless they both fall over and it's going to be a 1-2 for him as well unless one of them falls over and they come down towards the final fence and you haven't seen anything like this before and over it they go and murder on my mind is clear of stable mate Christopher's burner up towards the line Ryan Costello might as well play this on his own oh mightn't he so murder on my mind wins it Christopher's burner second and nobody else finished so a rather bizarre race um, which I think Ryan Costello was supposed to have been commentating on as well, but for some reason didn't. So there you go, Murder on My Mind wins it. Christopher's burn a second. Um, what more can you say, really? Murder on My Mind the winner. Christopher's burn a second. Nothing else finished.